In today's video, we're going to be talking about the importance of crossing our midline. Now you might be asking, what is your midline? Well, if you were to draw an imaginary line from the top of your head all the way through your body down to the bottom of your feet that divided both your body and your brain into right and left sides, that would be your midline. Now we know that the left side of our brain is responsible for controlling movements on the right side of our body. And likewise, our right side of our brain controls movements on the left. So any movement that requires taking a body part or appendage from one side of your body and crossing it over the midline to the other is going to require both sides of your brain to have to work together. Crossing the midline is a vital developmental skill and is linked to higher learning skills such as language, speech, handwriting, math sequencing, reading, body awareness, sensory integration and other skills that are essential for critical thinking. So if we only use one side of our brain, we run the risk of becoming weak on the other side, which could result in delays in improving these academic skills. From about the age of three months old, a baby will start to cross their midline using their eyes as they visually track, track an object that's being passed from one side to the other. And by around eight months, a child will actually be able to grasp something in one hand and pass it across their body to the other hand. These skills will obviously continue to develop as children grow and learn. So to get us started, let's look at some very simple and basic crossing the midline activities that you can incorporate into every child's daily life. Starting out, get your child to extend their arms out to either side of them. From there, just take one hand and get them to tap the opposite shoulder. To start making things a little bit more tricky, you can get them to take their right hand and tap their left knee and switch it over to the other side. Making that one a little bit more difficult, bring in the elbow, opposite elbow to opposite knee. Children can work at their own pace, but making sure they are crossing the midline and taking the opposite sides together. Another activity would be your windmill. Get your children to stretch out nice and wide. Again, taking opposite hand, bending from the hips, bend down to touch the opposite foot. Now the nice activities to do are your twists. Hands out by the side, get children to twist from side to side, pulling both arms across to each side as they twist. You could also work behind the body. So again, toe taps, taking your feet behind the body and again, tap it opposite arm to opposite foot. Not only are these activities fantastic for little ones to start crossing their midline, but these are great activities for older children and teenagers too, especially before writing a test or an exam. So if you're a teacher and your kids get anxious before tests, take two or three minutes to get them to stand up, to do a couple of crossing the midline activities, include the windmill, because these kind of inversion activities will promote blood flow to the brain, whilst getting both the right and brain hemispheres working together. End off your crossing the midline activities by getting the children to cross their arms across their chest and gently rub the pressure points in the lobes of their ears. Take a couple of nice deep breaths whilst doing this and this should help promote relaxation and concentration before the test. 